It might be hard to believe But I was young and naive Since then I've grown and I've changed Now I'm the target of a hate campaign I'm only human and I make mistakes So I'm sorry about my upload break <laughs> And we're back on YouTube Woo! Today we're going to be helping YouTubers and celebrities to make apology songs It's very important I asked you guys on Instagram for YouTubers and celebrities that we should help today And I also got a few ideas of my own <laughs> Let's get started Let's have a look at PewDiePie He's a fellow Swedish YouTuber just like me Famous for a lot of gaming videos and just videos in general I think most of you know who he is Because he's one of the most high profile youtubers in the world however went through a big controversy recently and he needs to apologize a few years back pewdiepie semi-retired from youtube choosing to upload less frequently for his enjoyment rather than as a career meanwhile in his personal life he moved to japan with his wife italian internet personality marzia and he now has a kid called bjorn this is a friend of mine we've done a bunch of videos together we did this song congratulations way back in the day and yeah i love this man but he needs to apologize <laughs> He needs to do it. I just want to show you some stuff and see if you notice what the scandal has been recently. If you look pretty closely, there's something a little bit off just around the the head area. There's something not looking entirely right. Yeah, just kind of like look overall at just the the head part of Bjorn. You probably heard already about this. I'm not going to tell you exactly what it is. So I just went ahead and wrote him an apology song. For this particular controversy, I'm thinking emotional piano. Yeah. He's really sad. What's up, bros? My name is PewDiePie. I got exposed for telling one big lie. I've been trying to hide it with Photoshop. But the truth is that our baby is a rock. Not a real baby, is a rock in a onesie. He'll never grow rich so cheap and so easy. Having a rock baby is such a hack Cause when I drop other babies on their heads They crack <laughs> So this controversy was submitted by Miss Robin Hoodie on Instagram And it said Pewds too much baby content So I kind of took it one step further to make it about the baby being a rock Which is real <laughs> You can you can look it up It's just so cool I love that he has retired and uh, now is a free man And I'm really enjoying all his family content with Marcia And they have a little newsletter and stuff There is a lot of baby in his life Which makes sense kind of since he has a baby As opposed to me I have nothing I have nothing in my life apart from this <laughs> very room Which is... Anyway, let's move on to the next controversy. Yeah, let's go. Let's, let's do the next one. Okay, so next up we have the boys in Watcher. These guys used to work at BuzzFeed, but now they have their own really high production quality channel. And a little while back, they were in the news. You might remember this because they made a video that was talked about a lot that was called Goodbye YouTube, where they said that they would take all their content and put behind a paywall. It was not received well. And they did an update video. There was an apology. It felt a little bit stiff. I want to help them kind of, you know, say what they really meant and really uh, get on top of everything and really, you know, really communicate in a better way. And I think music is a good way to communicate. So let's make something, okay? Let's get started. We're sorry that we said goodbye. The money was the reason why. We wanted to pay you all everything Then realized that ice we walked on was very thin This teleprompter's telling us to say we regret it But even if you broke you could have gotten a credit card Is that so hard? Just watch us while you slowly Okay, so as you notice, we're going for more of an honest approach here where we're just kind of saying it exactly how we feel it. And I think that would have been the way to go with this apology. It would have been easier. They could have kept, you know, paywalling everything away. And I think people would have understood. I think paywalling content is interesting, especially stuff that has been on YouTube in the past. Like, oh, we love, uh, we love posting to YouTube. That's why we won't do it anymore. Thank you, YouTube audience. Now come pay for it over here. Like, I think a Patreon and stuff is fine. I have a Patreon. Patreon 
patreon.com slash for me official they get the videos early all the type of stuff but i would not you know take stuff that i would be posting on youtube and put it there and be like hey go go over there now seems kind of insane seems kind of insane when you've you know people have supported you on youtube and, and built it up there but at the same time i don't really know you know what their production stuff is in the back maybe they need to eat a lot of gold bars in, in order to keep their energy up i don't <laughs> by the way welcome back to another video my name is joe from Romy official and you've missed me i know you've missed me oh look at you Ooh, you you're in love with me? No, no, you're not. You're in love with the ID of, of me. Oh, you're not even that. Okay, uh, you think I'm gross. Okay, that's fine. Here's patrons. Here's patrons. Look at them. They've been seeing these videos early. They've seen videos that are not out yet early as well. There's videos on there. There's a couple collabs up there uh, that I want to drop later and all kinds of stuff. So head on over there if you're interested in that sort of thing. We got some bonus content. I'm very glad to be back. I want to figure out how to, you know, uh, keep this community going. I love community. I think it's something that's really missing in today's uh, society. Oh my God, that's, that's so pretentious. But yeah, thank you, patrons. The Patreon is a great community, but I, I want to have communities that are not paid as well. This video had a bunch of ideas from Instagram. So check out my Instagram if you want. I'm going to be putting more stuff on there. It's easier than on here because of reasons so now let's continue the video one person who needs to apologize is seth mcfarlane and this is a real one this is an actual controversy if you're unfamiliar with seth he's an american actor animator writer producer director comedian and singer best known as the creator and star of the television series family guy he does pretty much all the voices on there he also co-wrote directed and starred in the films ted and its sequel ted 2. Seth. he's actually also a great singer which is fun so maybe i'll try to channel him a little bit in this he likes to sing big band stuff he has released eight studio albums in the vein of Frank Sinatra. Look at him, he looks so happy here. Sadly, he's been canceled, but we'll do something about it. We'll get a song together. There's a certain type of person I find filthy We didn't want your kind on our set You hating them so crime, I'm guilty The nerds are angry on the internet Where are their owners, their possessions I can do a good impression I don't think anyone should care We didn't hire a real teddy bear No, no <laughs> Dumb! <laughs> okay, so this one was submitted on Instagram by Not Warwick Smith. Says McFarlane for taking work away from real teddy bears. Okay, guys, I'm trying to make a lot of videos in September, so I have to wrap it here. Please let me know in the comments if there's any other people you would like to hear me make apology songs for. Take care. I'll be back very soon with another video. That's kind of the point. September is our timber. And yeah, I might be streaming and stuff. Anyway, bye-bye.